why? This is the Maze of Madness on normal and hard. This quest requires either two players or a hireling uh, to complete. There's some levers that need, need to be pulled that lock you out. But with the hireling, it could be easily done. There's a fair number of traps in this quest. And Razor Cats are a new enemy. You have to worry about them knocking you down. All right, so let me see what I can put my search item on. So this is on the other side of the wall. And that one's on the other side of the wall. So here's the first lever that's going to require the hireling. So to open that gate, you have to pull this lever. When you pull that lever, it closes the other gate. So it takes a coordinated two people, and then on the other side, there's a lever that can be pulled. But what I'm going to do is have the hireling, because the hirelings are able to teleport, I'm just going to have the, I'm just going to keep my focus on the lever. And then when I get past this gate, I'm going to have the hireling open it and then summon him over. More traps on the other side. So this is a mandatory um, thing here. It's pretty much anybody could see it, but behind this is a agent of insanity, and we have to slay three of those. And the way these traps work is that one of these levers is the real lever, the other one triggers the trap, but since we disable the trap, so if not if that was not disabled, these spikes would have come up and damaged us. This trap works the same way. One of these is the real lever, and one is the one that generates the one that uh, triggers the trap. But we don't care once we disable the trap. And it's a good thing I'm disabling traps because I'm guessing wrong every time on the levers. All right, let me see if there's any more. I see a trap box I had found from before. And now it looks like there's another one either on the other wall or the other side of the wall. Looks like the other side of the wall. So, same pattern. Pick, and I picked wrong three straight times. All right, I'm gonna check again because normally if there's three levers, there's at least two traps, but it looks like not this time. So, this time we need to figure out which one's the right lever. That's not it. So there's another trap box somewhere. And that's it. So I'm going to have the hireling stand here, highlight this lever, and I think I'm going to need to figure out, okay, there's the trap box I'm missing. And now I'm going to need to pick that middle lever. And then what I could do is when I get over here, 
Open the gate. Clear the enemy. Looks like maybe there's a nut yet another trap box besides the one I found. Nope. And we're not going to worry about that because we're going to just summon the hireling over. Highlight this lever. Tell the hireling to stand right here in front of this lever. And this way is already open all the way here. But you could see that there's a closed gate there. So what that lever does is open the underwater gate. So we have the hireling do that. And we can get past the, the underwater gate. So pretty cool quest. Um, it's good that you could that they made a way that this could be done with the hireling, so they can be soloed. All right. So traps that might be on the other side. Now this gate you might think would open this, but instead it opens a different gate. That one there. Hmm. Let's see, I'm sensing another trap. Didn't think there'd be one right there. It's probably on the other side of the wall. Too far away to detect. All right, so we've got two trap, three levers, and two of them are trapped. And this opens one of these opens the this to get to the shrine. Well, we don't really need the shrine, so I'm not going to worry about it. But you know, might come in, might come important uh, when we get to the Reaper line. All right, bring the hireling over, and this is going to be another agent of insanity, a title that everybody wants to have. All right, so here's two of the trap boxes. And you can see there's a whole lot going on here. Uh, this is showing up because I searched from the other side of the wall. There's a two blade traps and spike traps. And so I'm seeing more traps. And typically there is one trap box per extra lever. Not always, but most of the time that's the case. And that's the case in this, this case. So there's six levers total. Five of them are trapped. And so I haven't guessed yet, right yet, so why start now? All right, so this third lever opened up this way. But first we have to go back and deal with this agent of insanity. Reaper, this the challenge here will be that these uh, that that the, the casters heal these mystics heal other themselves and others. So that could be a challenge if the DPS isn't good enough on Reaper mode. So I was just checking to make sure this wasn't trapped. This is pretty typical. We've got a trap box here. And so I'm just gonna figure out which of these is the right lever. Not that, haven't guessed right yet. And this one is. You have finally found your way through the lever. And once again, we'll need the, the hireling to stand here and pull this lever for us. And we can just summon the hireling. We don't have to worry about the pulling the lever on the other side. And typically there's 
one or more traps here as well. Oftentimes, just like that on the floor. So that was convenient. And that's the great thing about evasion is um, I didn't know where that trap I didn't know where that trap box was, so I ended up disabling the trap box uh, and triggering the trap at the same time. I, you know, I, I did thought that would only happen when I pulled the lever, but it, you know, it took me by surprise. So with evasion, you know, I didn't have to take any damage there. And that's why that's especially in a first life build, it's so key, such a critical thing in my opinion, because the traps can be very unforgiving in this game and um, basically evasion gives you a lot of mulligans. A great feeling of dread overwhelmed you as you approach Malkia. So I am going to pause it while I get the end reward. This guy does not show an end reward, but he has one for us anyways. You can just look if, uh, look on the map to find the check mark if you're having trouble finding it. And nothing um, super useful here. I'm just going to grab an item to sell to a vendor and then pause it while I go back to the quest to run make the hard run and going into the maze of madness on hard and because this quest can be confusing how to solo it with the hireling I'm gonna explain everything again so apologies if you already know how to do this but basically this quest has a um, series of levers and doors, some of which require two players or a player and, and, and using a hireling, as I'm doing. A lot of times you'll get a trap like this, and it ends up, actually let me get my uh, search item on, it ends up being a trap on the other side of the wall, especially early on. There are, there, ha there are a few exceptions, but generally traps in this quest are by levers, and associated with specific levers. And that trap is likely associated with the two levers on the other side there. All right, so this first lever is that we have is going to be needed for me to get past that gate. Uh, if I pull the lever, this gate closes. So I have to have, the idea is to have one person on each side pulling. So the first person lets the person through, and then the second person will pull to let the other person through. But the great thing about hirelings, don't have to worry about that. We just summon them here. <laughs> And this trap is most likely on the other side of the wall because I don't see any levers. And this trap is probably associated with that lever. And basically what happens is if you put the, one of those levers pulls the gate, the other one activates the trap if it's not disabled. And then this here is a mandatory, uh, a, a mandatory door you have to open to get to this Agent of Insanity. We have to kill all three of the Agents of Insanity in here, and two of them are behind these kind of closed doors, and then one is at the end. Alright, so once the trap is disabled, it doesn't really matter. You just pull levers until you find the right one. So, uh, last quest I guessed wrong every time, this time I've guessed right. Alright, 
right, so uh, as per usual, we have a trapped lever. And so once we disable the trap, we don't have to worry about which lever we pull. This is, this is a trap I had found on the other side of the wall, associated with these two levers. And we just keep pulling until we find the right lever. All right, no trap here. The traps are somewhat random. They're like different than they were last quest, for example. But, but there's a set number of traps. So I'm gonna have the hireling pull this lever for me. I'll disable this trap. And then I'm gonna call the hireling over to pull this lever for me at the right time. So the gates are open, so you don't need the hireling to, to open these gates. But this water one below, or the gate in the water, is activated by that lever by the hireling. So I just had him pull it, or her pull it. And then I'm gonna head over to the other side. And then this is the way forward. This is the way we're gonna, we have to open one gate from this side. And per, per typical, if there's more than one lever, there's it's trapped. I have, to, I have seen one lever it, and it being trapped, but typically it's uh, more than one lever. And one of these levers opens this gate, which is the way forward from that other room. So not that one. And there it is. And uh, one of these levers opens a shrine area, which we we'll probably we probably will use that on Reaper. Hmm. Interesting. It's on the other side. Well, I'm not going to. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to uh, use the shrine anyways. And here's the le the gate we had opened with the, with the other room, which is over there. And then this is the second Agent of Insanity room. You can kind of recognize the look of it. They both look the same. And there's a lot of levers, so there's going to be a lot of traps here. Typically, the levers are activated by pulling, or the traps are activated by pulling the lever. Sometimes they're activated by approaching the lever. So we're just going to get them all. And we have all the traps, but before proceeding forward, we are going to deal with this agent of insanity in here. Yeah, I'm just going to keep pulling the levers till I open the gate. And in this case, last time there was multiple levers here, and now there's just one. You have finally found your way through the labyrinth. Now the And 
I just had the hireling pull the lever. And there's a trap that is activated by approaching it as opposed to the lever. And this time there's multiple control panels. And most of this quest is pretty straightforward. The end fight will be approached a little bit differently on Reaper. On Reaper mode, um, I'll be trying to draw some enemies back to break it up into a couple of different fights. Starting with this guy. And then probably using my bow to pull some guys out. On normal and hard, you could just run in and, and, and uh, blast, blast away. But on Reaper, could have some Reapers, could have some Champions, and it's best to break this fight up into a few smaller fights. I'm going to pause it while I go to the pick up my end reward. And again, this guy uh, does not show you that he has an end reward. It will on the map, but not, not in, on uh, him directly. Vertigo and armor piercing, that's not a bad combo. Um, poison resistance 23, that's not too bad. We have something better. Uh, acid absorb, acid resist, that's actually a nice uh, combo there as well. Uh, grab that, although probably won't keep it. And that is the Maze of Madness on normal and hard. <laughs> 